Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video on my channel. So I'm currently parked in front of Yurian's workshop over here. Plus right from Yurian. And uh, he put some magic into my fork. Uh, at least it looks like. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna do some testing this weekend. Um, as you saw in the title. And um, yeah. Um, I'm going over to Belgium right now, so he put some special cartridge into the um, the van. I, he put a special cartridge in the fork, and um, looks like just from riding on the parking lot that it uh, looks pretty feels pretty good. So shout out to Yurian for all of his work and um, yeah I'm just gonna drive off to Belgium now and uh, we'll see how it feels. I'm gonna do a bit of testing with both the fork but then also a little bit of testing with some tires and some inserts and so on. So should be an exciting weekend um, so what we put in the fork is um, a coil instead of an air spring and uh, it should be uh, should make it a bit more plush um, so yeah gonna be exciting if you guys wanna wanna get your suspension fixed uh, with surface or anything and you live close to the border of the the Netherlands on the on the Belgium and the Germany side so close to Maastricht if you're in the area um, feel free to uh, to get in touch with him because his work is pretty pretty good and he's been doing my services for my early suspension for the last um, for the for the whole season basically so check him out on plush rides and um, I think uh, he does a good job, does it good as well, never had any problems with it, so check it out. So I'm gonna drive over to Belgium right now and I'll check in with you guys once I'm there. So here we are then, we are in Rimonshaw Trail Center. Got the pet, the van parked up. Shout out to the guys over at Signal Reclama for always making me making the van look fresh and clean. They came up with all the design and everything, so yeah, looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. I very like it a lot. So as you can probably tell looks a bit sloppy rained quite a lot over the last few days so we'll see what happens to give you a little bit of an insight of what the plan is for today so i think i'm just gonna start off with my normal setup normal inserts and then the only thing which has changed is my suspension in the fork <coughs> And you know what the crazy thing is right now? The only thing that I have to pump up is the tires. Because I don't need to pump up the shock, of course. And don't need to pump up the fork either. Which is, which is pretty cool. So, makes my life a little bit easier. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Perfect. 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 So, current stats of the bike setup. I'm um, pro core in the front from Schwalbe, Kushko in the back. 
and that's what I've been trying the last time I was out riding so kept with that for now since I tried that the last time we got the coil in the front Magic Mary in the front Techie in the back both low speed and high speed compression open that's what Yurian that said I would best do as a setup first to just have a good feeling of the coil and then try to adjust um, on the go so yeah just all the way open first run basically <coughs> what a beautiful place this is isn't it I do love Belgium Wah. So we, here we are on top of the trail I want to do some testing on. So we got 165 in the front with a pro core, 165 in the back with the Kush core. But with the Kush core 165 is like like 1.7, 1.8 usually, like normal, normal without an insert. So, so it's gonna be my first impression of riding a coil. The last time I ridden a coil was like like five years ago, even more probably. So just gonna take it easy first run. See how it feels and then work from there. First impressions of riding the coil feels surprisingly, surprisingly good. Although it is a, it feels a bit different on like the flat chattery bit. Like it feels like it's bouncing a little bit more. Once it sits in the travel, it feels actually very good. The only concern I have is that this track maybe is a little bit too technical as of right now with the weather conditions. And I'm a bit scared of what it's gonna do on the steep bits. So I think I'm gonna swap swap the track I wanna test on to a different one. The one that's closest to this side. It, hum it almost has the same start, but yeah, I think I'm gonna give that one a go. See if that's better, because I think on that trail I can focus a bit more on the suspension and on the actual riding. Second run, different trail, same suspension, same everything. Let's see how this feels. Bonjour. You know that's a uh, biking trail. Sorry? It's for the bike, that one. Yeah, I know. You know? I know. It's a bit dangerous, eh? No. Yeah. There's other paths everywhere. If. Yeah, I know, but I live just here. And uh, I'm used to run here. Okay. So. Very interesting. People just running on on trails, <laughs> on official trails as well. Look at that, and then they just keep on running on it. And even if you say something politely, they don't give. A don't know what to say about that with those people. Okay, second try. Okay, 
sorry. Whoa. Okay, long line. That is such a fun trail. Holy sh! Oh, I'm not gonna lie. It has some very good, very good support, and I think that the coil is exactly how I want it to be. Sometimes I have to get a little bit used to how it's how it's under like big impacts and stuff. How it moves moves on like the flat bit at the beginning. All now it feels feels like a very good. I like it. Makes me corner pretty good too, which is something I usually struggle a bit with, like in general. But yeah, I don't know. Gives me a lot of trust, let's say. So third run. Um, I'm gonna try to do this run on race pace. Check how much travel I'm using, because I think I'm not using enough. So I can do a bit of adjustments on the bottom out of the coil. On race pace, it took me a little bit more time to get used to and get a fi find a good track than I thought it would be. But hey ho, um, we're here. No pressure, just doing some testing. So all fun in games. So. Here we go, third run, same, same, just on race pace, trying to get close to race pace at least. <laughs> no, I want to do a high line. Oh, holy moly. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> it's pretty intense. <sighs> As you can tell, I'm not using all the travel. So I think <clears throat> it's pretty much closed now. <clears throat> yeah, it's two clicks from closed. And it's like 17. <clears throat> the amount of clicks you can have. So maybe I'll go with 18 or 8, sorry. Okay, we're on eight now. Go up and we'll try it again and see if I use any more travel or not. Doing a little bit of trail maintenance because uh, my shoes are full of water because of this puddle. And I reckon there's more rain to come this winter. So I think this would make the water drainage a little bit better so we'll see next run when I get here how she's looking so uh, I'm feeling that the back end sometimes stepping out quite a bit on the roots and stuff and I just want to see how it feels when you I like using the the Kishko a lot. I like asking a lot from it. So I wasn't 65, and maybe I'll go. Yeah, 55 should be good. So 55 in the back with the Kishko, and then the front feels sometimes a bit hard too. But I think it's. Pretty all right. Don't want to get too low in the pressures or get used to riding low pressures. 
because then once you come to something like Pietra or I don't know if Chatel where it's super rough and rocky um, I'll just blow through the travel of your tires just smash your rims you know so I think uh, I'm gonna try this so 0 0.1 less in the rear and then eight clicks on the like on middle setting of the hydraulic bottom out of the fork and then same trail same same rest of the stuff so yeah we'll see all right here we go then Not sure if I was just trying to push harder and making mistakes or if it was difference in the fork. Now I want to use a bit more travel than this <laughs> but kind of made it feel worse. I'm not sure it was me just pushing harder or the fork doing his thing so I think I'm gonna go back to where I was Hello. and two clicks and maybe maybe slow down the rebound just by one click <clears throat> we'll see if this is better what about my little trail maintenance though like the complete puddle just almost gone or it was like 10 to 5 centimeters deep before oh, should have done that earlier so now my feet are just soaking wet little update on the on the rear tire so I feel like I don't know I, I was pushing it one bit and it kind of felt like it was like going off of the rim a little bit you know like just pulling the tire a bit off of it but then not sure if it was just the the tire or if it's just the terrain giving away you know so I'm gonna try again try to be a bit more aggressive on the side on like the side impacts let's say corners and off cams and bits and let's see what it does and if I can feel any difference you know so Back at the top, last run before I'm going to have a little break. Um, and I'm just gonna make the front a little bit softer and see how that is forgiving. So it's 6.5 in the front, 55 in the back. So, I think you're going with the 55 in the front as well now. And we'll, we'll see. How that feels. Now for my standards, this is quite low pressure. Of course, the trails here are not that heavy on the bike on the, the wheels let's say so you can go a bit lower um, but since we are testing we can just do whatever we want and see how it feels and then I can decide if I like it or not and so I'm back on the same setting as Yurian said it, said it before but um, one click of rebound less Maybe um, with that 
it kind of stays the same in the travel height but then on the big impact it just uses a bit more travel that is the plan let's we'll see if it if it works out or not <coughs> all right then so another run different settings let's see how it feels Holy moly! Okay, <sighs> that thing must have just fell off, which is very crazy. Yeah, that's the only thing I hate about enduro trails. Like sometimes they have these sticks on the track, and something like that can just take you out so hard. I had that in spa this summer <laughs> and hurt actually quite a lot so we're clear out in time on this this time Woo! oh my I need to go inside there. Again. Holy moly. Okay, but that right hand just keeps putting me off guard. Holy moly. Oh, that definitely felt better again. Although I was hitting, hitting the right lines too. Yeah, that felt very good. Yeah, on that one bit, it is actually the terrain, which is just moving. It's not the tires. I can feel the, the brake pads wearing out very quick too. It's like sometimes, all of a sudden, it just doesn't work. Well, you can definitely see why. Because all the muck getting between it. Luckily, shout out to my dad, he freshly bleed the brakes. So, she's running very good and there's still lots of adjustments to make. Now, I'm gonna do a bit of a break. Um, think about how it felt. Make some food and refuel, and then uh, get back to it again for the, for the afternoon. So a little refuel in uh, in the van. I'm 
steaming completely. Look at that. <laughs> I'm steaming so much. And holy moly, I'm full of dirt as well. Um, yeah, in the van, picking up some stuff. In the pit, some lovely humus with it, some salad, and uh, probably get a bread as well. So, they'll refuel. <laughs> Look at that. <sighs> um, and then we'll get back to it. Let's go. Nom 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 nom. Look at that. It's already starting to get a little bit dark. Ugh, it's so cold. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll see how long I can still ride with this. With the sun already going down very quickly. Oh, it's so cold. So I'm just gonna have a quick look on the which bit is putting me off card all the time because I keep getting super sketchy in here and don't know what it is. But what I'm assuming it is is this little root over here which is catching me off guard. So just making it a bit more a bit more able to see for other people as well who are coming down so I think I just got to stay either high and go around it or go below it so we're gonna go down in the pressure in the front again we are on 55 now, just to see how that feels. Forty-five now. It's gonna be really interesting to see how this feels. Okay, okay. Well, here we go then. I'm gonna take it slow at the beginning just to make sure I can actually see something still. Wow. Holy moly. Wow. Inside, I guess. Oh my. Well, I definitely had more grip on the front, which was good, but it's very hard to see. So, I think this is gonna be the last run of the day looking at how dark it is right here. Still 55 in the back. And 45 in the front. And now made the hydraulic bottom out a bit softer. So should be a little bit deep in the travel. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's drifting out there. <laughs> okay, yeah. I can't see anything anymore. And with my glasses off, uh, only dirt just gets in my eyes. Uh, so I think we'll, we'll leave it for as it is. Now, I did make some pretty good improvements on suspension and also pressures. Now I didn't try any different inserts or tires, but I already thought that was going to be too much all at once. So, um, yeah, just uh, getting suspension dialed. Um, I'll be riding somewhere else tomorrow, hopefully with some more guys. Um, and then I'm going to try maybe uh, a mud tire in the back, the Dirty Dan tire. Um, so, going to swap that over in a little bit. And uh, uh, yeah, I think that's that's gonna be it. So pretty dialed already with the suspension. Um, so I'm keen on that. And then yeah, I think tomorrow I'm gonna test a bit more with the tires. Um, so stay tuned for for that video. It's Saturday now, so I'll be riding tomorrow and maybe on Monday as well with the e-bike in the morning. So um, yeah, stay tuned for for um, for those videos, and thank you for sticking all the way till the end. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, see you in the next video. Yo yo.